When Ulf and I was on Erland this weekend, we sort of, the last day, we had a fantastic day. We went to a quarry and a swam. It was fantastic. I'm going to upload the videos in about a week. But anyway, we also visited this sort of farm. Well, we, we brought farm produce from from f real live farmers I, I even talked to a farmer farmer's wife i think she was well she might be the farmer and have a ha farmer's wife herself or a farmer's husband i'm not sure anyway i bought this great big bulb of fennel and i realized wait i need to do something with it now because you know the leaves are or the whatever you call those things that looks like dill so i went online checked out a recipe now, I'm going to make two portions of fennel pasta, and you will enjoy watching me do it. So, started cooking pasta water. I separated the fennel bulbs from the sort of these bra dilly things, because these will be chopped up and, and sort of sprinkled over it afterwards. But now I separated this and I'm going to chop it finely in my food processor. Or, as I like to say when I'm in the really fun mood, my food professor. Are you with me, people? Here we go. Oh. Well, and so on. Yeah, that's me if AI has anything to do with it. So, people, I did. I put the recipe up on my vegan... Uh, no, on my blog, which is this thing here. I might make a link. Yeah, I should. I should definitely... Yeah, I'm going to link this. So, never worried. Never... Yeah. Oh, I look good. So, a couple of months ago, I bought an iPad, a new iPad. I had the really old one and I couldn't really use it. So, I haven't got used to using my iPad, but this is great because now I have the recipe on my blog and I can sort of cook to it. So let's start, shall we? Oh, I look good. I would do me. I would definitely do me. Well, I, I'm a little too big, I think. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Too much muscles. I'm sorry. In a pan, we add one tablespoon of oil. It's supposed to be olive oil. But uh, olive oil is tremendously expensive suddenly, so this is just canola oil, yeah. And when this is hot, you add one teaspoon of fennel seeds, and when they start to crackle, you add, well, like they did now, two, in this case, three garlic cloves. In goes the pasta. It's supposed to be spaghetti, but I say no. You add half of the sort of chopped fennel. Half. Well, I'm just going to eye it. Then you add the zest of a lemon and the juice of a lemon. This is a great zester. That's the zest, and now the juice. In goes the juice. Time to chop some parsley and the rest of the fennel, whatever, the plumes, I would call it. And of course, we're going to do that in a machine. Here we go. And here we are. When the pasta have about one minute left to go, you transfer it onto this and you add some of the liquidy, no, the starchy pasta water to this. And then you add the rest, the parsley and the plumes. Some starchy water. Yeah, I'm just eyeing it. And then this. And in it goes. So it's time to put this into this. Well, half of this because this is two portions. It looks like four. And then I'm going to put some uh, deactivated yeast on this to simulate uh, Parmesan cheese and also some black pepper. Let's go. And what I did different in this recipe is I added the lemon juice at the beginning. I should have ended that at the end. I didn't read through the recipe, <laughs> though I sort of, yeah, I just let AI do that. And also that, that those plumes should have been sort of over in the end now as not, not being cooked, but it'll taste the same, I bet. Let's have a taste test and I, d I want something, yeah, I don't want the pasta, so I want the fennel. Here we go, oh, I've got sun in my face. Mmm. Okay, this is a keeper. Mmm. Lemony, licorice because the fennel tastes like lic licorice, doesn't it? Mm, 
I get can't talk now. Must do a lot of eating. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.